what is good nation it's stock j back with another video and in this one we're going to be talking about the one and only amc stock what you should be looking out for for the future i also want to answer the question are the shorts about to cover after what melvin capital just announced are we about to see the moas how should you actually look at the play and what should you be expecting based off what we're seeing now before i break any of this down and get into any more details i do have to mention a couple of things real quick the first thing is i'm not a financial planner so please don't take this as financial advice and also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only benefits me, but benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. Now, I do know that Weeble uses payment for order flow, but please hear me out. Because with Weeble, you could get some free AMC shares for your different brokerage accounts, whether it's Fidelity or TD Ameritrade. And this is how this works. If you sign up with my link down below and deposit any amount of money, whether it's $1 or $100, it's up to you. You're guaranteed five free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars you could always sell these five free stocks for a cash and use that cash to buy some amc shares whether you keep the cash in weeble or transfer it to fidelity it's up to you but this is a limited time offer that ends in two weeks so please check it out to get your free amc shares with that out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at amc i do believe that this thing follows these different cycles cycle theory has so much merit behind it as we are seeing some very similar price action but but it doesn't have to essentially be confined to these cycles whenever it runs. That's the difference. Because when, I think when AMC squeezes, it doesn't have to follow this whole cycle and start the MOAS. The MOAS could start at any given moment and something could trigger it unexpectedly that's that's the big thing that's going on so do i know what's going to cause the moas i know some factors that will play a role but i don't truly know if there's going to be one big catalyst right it could be some kind of dividend from GameStop. it could happen because shorts decide to start covering it could happen because of a market crash there are different things that could really trigger it. I just know that it's extremely, extremely probable. And if you are willing to wait it out, we have the edge. Now, the question on a lot of people's minds is, okay, now that we know that this thing could squeeze at any given moment, is it about to start? And honestly, I don't want to make any promises. I don't want to give any false expectations that it's about to squeeze. Everyone gets excited and then we get rejected by the false hope. There's no guarantee right now that it's about to start. It may take longer, it may not, but I just wanted to put this out there for you guys. And that is based off what's happening to Melvin Capital. It is possible that the squeeze is about to start. I'm not saying any particular date. I'm just saying it may start very soon based off this. It's a possibility because right now Melvin Capital is thinking to shrink after GameStop losses and AMC losses as well. They have been shorting like crazy and they actually announced something very huge and that is this right here that they plan on returning some capital to investors as their losses are growing and Gabe Plotkin who is the main guy on top he basically talked about the fact that they're trying to reinstate incentive fees to salvage hedge funds crushed by last year's GameStop frenzy so his main goal is this he wants to essentially sell a lot of their assets close a lot of positions from this hedge fund then it used five billion dollars if there's even that much money left but start his own hedge fund a new one so that they could essentially start from scratch and kind of save themselves a lot of money from these fees so that's essentially what his plan is now how on earth are you going to get rid of all your positions or close your positions or become liquid and then start a new hedge fund with that money how are you going to do that and the answer is there's a possibility that they start covering and other shorts out there like citadel or susquehanna they decide that they actually want to start covering too before melvin capital does that's a possibility or what could happen is they they choose not to and they somehow do some i don't know manipulation from the back end and they transfer their shorts to someone else i have no idea what they're going to do right because they change the rules and they can do things you don't even expect so i don't know how they're going to go about this if they do choose to close these positions it could trigger the moas i also think that they realize that shorting is not working as well for them which is why they're planning on making their own uh new hedge fund and shrinking its assets to only 5 billion from the 8.7 billion dollar before so it just goes to show that they're losing billions they lost 
nearly $7 billion betting against AMC and GameStop already just goes to show that they're not doing well. And if they choose to cover, this could be it, right? It could cause the MOAS much sooner than people expect. I don't know if they are going to start covering. Like I said, don't expect it, but just know that it's a possibility. And at any given moment, you should be prepared for this thing to just explode, leave the galaxy. I mean, this thing could run at any given second. So you're just going to have to be patient. You have to remain calm, cool, and collected. And just know that even if the squeeze doesn't start right now, another thing are the cycles, right? A lot of YouTubers out there also talk about cycle theories, and there's a lot of truth behind it. I often pointed this out and tried to make this as simple as possible. We have this W shape that's from the blue line. Same thing right over here. Okay, then we have this other one from the yellow one. Same thing. The drop, right? It's exactly the same. The triple top that we saw here and here, followed by that big run, the January run, the run up we just had. So what's happening right now is I do expect AMC to find its bottom, perhaps after we have the minutes released from the FOMC meeting, because the FOMC meeting is May 3rd through the 4th. I expect this thing to run perhaps to the mid 20s. I think this thing is going to be set for another run because AMC had that run up in March of 2021. I think the cycle is set for that. So I do expect a run in just a few weeks, still very bullish. And that's like, that's like if the MOAS isn't here yet, because the MOAS could start at any given moment. That's what I essentially see happening. But I do think that we're going to see another big run up. I think a lot of people talk about how AMC is set for some massive moves and shorts may start to covering because of all this that's going on. I mean, if you look at all the future FOMC meetings, we have another one in June, July, September, November, December. The Fed is going to keep on raising rates over and over and over again. It makes it harder for the shorts to maintain these positions, believe it or not. Maybe it'll take time, but just know that the play is still alive. We're still doing well. And many of these shorts, like Melvin Capital, are just taking big hits, losing billions. They already lost $7 billion, and they will probably lose even more if they don't close out as soon as possible. So at any moment, remember, this thing could squeeze. It may not look like it now, but we're not in squeeze mode yet. Once we enter squeeze mode, you're going to see it. So be ready, remain calm, cool, and collected, and don't let all the FUD out there get into your head. Trust the DD, remain patient, and we'll get there. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of the day. AMC to the moon, and peace out.